case members today we are going to look at implicit functions and the topic of differentiation now suppose we have a number find a gradient at that point negative 4 1 of this expression how do we go it how do we go about it and this is the way the easiest way but still remember some of the techniques we did earlier in the certain videos of product rule, quotient tool, whatever. But here, most especially, we are going to use the product rule uh, to help us solve this uh, expression. So if they say differentiate, here what comes to the mind, because this is easy to differentiate, but the problem might come in here and here. And remember, we are differentiating with respect to x. So how do we go about such numbers? Okay, this is how we start. If you differentiate x squared, you, you shall get 2x. I think that one you agree. Now when you look at this, I'll first pull out the 2. Now this one you are going to use product rule method, of which this will be my u and this will be my v. I hope you understand so I'll open a simple bracket for only these because it's only by product rule you can be able to solve such issues so I'll start by my u is x so du dx is equal to 1 and my v this time is y but I have to differentiate with respect to x so how can I go about it so this one you say dv dx it will be please you have to pay attention if I differentiate this y remember here there is a silent one I'll bring that one here and y will be to power 0 because I have to subtract that power 1 from 1 minus 1 which is power 0 but since it is y I will have dy dx I think it is clear I will have dy dx since it is y I will differentiate normally but I will end up multiplying or add multiplying it with dy dx with respect to x so in this case, remember our product rule, which says dy dx equals to v du dx plus u dv dx. Hope you still remember that. So we are going to use the same technique in here. So if I look at uh, my expression in here I will say what is my V my V was Y and what is my du dx my du dx was 1 so times 1 plus what is my u my u was x so what is my dv dx my dv dx is this 1 dy dx so I have dy dx I hope you are following so this one is done I'll close the brackets so coming to this you differentiate normally so here I will have 4y but 4y to power 1 but since you have y you will have dy dx and this x if I differentiate it I will have 1 then if I differentiate this one I will have 0 I hope you are getting me so I'll try to elucidate, elucidate on this I'll get 2x 
then I have to make this to enter in here. So I have minus 2y. I hope you are getting me. 2y plus 2x dy dx. I hope we are together. Minus 4y dy dx plus 1 equals to 0. So I'm going to collect, collect like, if I would say, like terms. So I'm going to make sure this side I remain with the 2x dy dx minus 4y dy dx equal i'm going to push this one the other side of the equal sign so it will become negative also these two the 2x will become negative and the negative 2y will become positive 2y i hope we are still at par to this point so i have a common factor called dy dx so in here we'll have 2x minus 4y in two brackets dy dx i hope you are following so it will equal to negative 1 minus 2x plus 2y I hope you are following so we are about to finish this number so in here I have to remain with dy dx which will equal to negative 1 negative 2x plus 2y all over 2x minus 4 why I hope you are getting it clearly now from our first step up to where we are now so in here remember they gave us a point negative 4 and one so this is our gradient already so i'm going to try to put into this and see what we can be having so trying to put in what i have minus two negative four plus two one all over 2 into negative 4 minus 4 into 1. Because this is my x, this is my y. I have to find a way of putting into the gradient such that my dy, dx, will be the last solution I get. So, if you look at negative 1, negative 1 so in here I will have negative 8 but it will face this one and becomes positive 8 plus 2 so this one will be 10 minus 1 which is 9 I hope we are together this one only will come negative 8 it will face this one to be a positive. So if I subtract 1, I will get 7 plus 7, then plus 2, which will be a positive 9. Over, this one is a negative 8 minus 4, 
which is a negative 12. So the answer in here for our dy dx is negative 9 over 12. So this is how we this is how we go about implicit functions. In case you haven't understood, please comment, like, subscribe, comment. I will elaborate more on how we go about such numbers. But the only technique here is when we have y and we are differentiating with respect to x. If you have understood how we go about that particular section of y, then this topic is very much easier to understand. Thank you very much.